Boom. All right. Please welcome the Homegrown Theater Company with Really Really. Yeah. Hello, future leaders. The people in this room represent a new generation. Growing up, we were told, don't worry what others think of you. And boy, do they regret teaching us that one, because now we are facing a generational vice. Research shows that amongst our peers, the greatest concern of each individual is on the me, the I. The I, the me, me, I, iPhone, me phone, my turn, me first, a line I don't have to wait, a price I don't have to pay, a test I don't have to study. A generation of self-awareness and self-concern where they make what we want, and what we want is more me. Facebook, Twitter, all social media. We are the members of a generation that has been dubbed Generation Me. So as I stand here, in front of my peers, in front of the best and brightest and most promising minds, I am forced to find the good in us, the good in me, the good in you. And at the end of my search, I have found our redeeming quality, the gem of this generation. And the upside to our selfishness is the invincibility that we espouse. Sure, we may consider that the rules do not apply to us, but for those of us still hungry to succeed in this world, our redeeming quality is that we look at obstacles in the same way. How do we do this? The successful members of Generation Me, the I Generation, have a secret weapon. This weapon is the desire and tendency to answer a simple question. What can I do to make this work? In any situation, what can I do to get what I want? We will go our way in spite of the fact that the America this generation was given is not the America this generation was told we would get. Is this the land of opportunity? No. Now we are dealing with the land of strategy. Obstacles, we must see none. Dilemmas, they must be all the more fun. We will succeed. We just have to find a way. And if you don't want to be a victim of this mess, my advice is to find any way. Really. Right? Yeah. <laughs>